Hello guys, it's a pleasure for me to meet you all. Today we will do not any coding. Today we will have an introductory lesson to let you understand what this training course is about and what we will learn. So here is our agenda for today. We will talk with you a bit about Selenium history. Consider main components of Selenium. Understand why we should learn Selenium with driver. Afterwards, we will discuss the role of the Selenium in software testing process. And we will investigate what opportunities will be available to you right after this course completion. So let's start from Selenium history. Selenium is a portable framework for testing web applications and interaction with web application via browser. Selenium provides a playback tool for authoring functional tests without the need to learn a test scripting language. This tool is called Selenium IDE. It also provides a test domain specific language, Selenz, to write tests in a number of popular programming languages, including C Sharp, Ruby, Java, Perl, PHP, Python, Ruby, and Scala. The tests can then run against most of the modern web browsers, such as Google Chrome and Firefox. Selenium runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. It is open source software released under the Apache License 2.0. Selenium was originally developed by Jason Huggins in 2004 as an internal tool at ThoughtWorks. The name Selenium comes from a joke made by Huggins in an email, mocking a competitor named Mercury, saying that you can cure mercury poisoning by taking selenium supplements. The others that received the email took the name and ran with it. Let's consider Selenium components. So let's start from Selenium IDE. Selenium IDE is a complete integrated development environment for Selenium tests. It is implemented as a Firefox add-on and as a Chrome extension. It allows for recording, editing and debugging of functional tests. Selenium IDE was created in 2006, but was little maintained until 2018. With its help, scripts may be automatically recorded and edited manually, providing auto-completion support and the ability to move commands around quickly. Let's proceed with Selenium Client API. As an alternative to writing tests with Selenz, tests can also be written in various programming languages. These tests then communicate with Selenium by calling methods in Selenium Client API. Selenium currently provides client APIs for Java, C Sharp, Ruby, JavaScript, R, and Python. With Selenium 2, a new client API was introduced, with WebDriver as a central component. However, the old API using class Selenium is still supported. Let's proceed with Selenium Remote Control. Selenium Remote Control, or RC, is a server written in Java that accepts commands for the browser via HTTP. RC makes it possible to write automated tests for a web application in any programming language. Selenium Project currently provides client drivers for PHP, Python, Ruby, .NET, Perl, and Java. With the release of Selenium 2, Selenium RC has been officially deprecated in favor of Selenium WebDriver. The following component of Selenium is Selenium WebDriver. Selenium WebDriver is the successor to Selenium RC. Selenium WebDriver accepts commands sent in Selenz or via a client API and sends them to a browser. This is implemented through a browser-specific browser driver, which sends commands to a browser and retrieves results. Selenium WebDriver is fully implemented and supported in Python, Ruby, Java, and C Sharp. The final component that we will consider today is Selenium Grid. It is a server that allows tests to use web browser instances running on remote machines. With Selenium Grid, one server acts as a central hub. Tests contact the hub to obtain access to browser instances. The hub has a list of servers that provide access to browser instances, WebDriver nodes, and lets tests use these instances. Selenium Grid allows running tests in parallel on multiple machines and manage different browser versions and browser configurations centrally instead of in each individual test. Let's proceed with the question, why should we learn Selenium WebDriver? 
First of all, Selenium is an open source tool, which means anybody can use it for free. Any organization can use Selenium to test their website or web application, and even independent programmers can learn and practice automated testing using Selenium WebDriver. Another benefit is that you need no special OS, browser, or hardware demands. This is another benefit that you get with Selenium. You don't need a system with 16GB RAM or high HDD. Neither do you need to house a Windows OS or Mac OS or Linux OS. The operation system you use for home purpose is good enough for Selenium testing. Another profit for using Selenium is multiple programming languages support. This must be the single most important factor for any programmer to get into the automated testing domain. Most tools in the market need you to be specialized in one particular programming language. Languages such as Java, C Sharp are among the common scripting languages required by various tools. Availability of frameworks. Frameworks are very similar to templates. You can make slight modification to your core test per requirement for different conditions instead of making wholesale changes. Strong presence in the DevOps lifecycle. Selenium forms an integral part of the DevOps lifecycle because most companies are now replacing agile or waterfall approaches with the DevOps approach. Easy integration with other tools. Selenium can be easily integrated with open source tools. Some of them are Jenkins, TestNG, Maven, etc. Parallel and distributed testing. Multiple Selenium test cases can be executed in parallel on the same machine or on remote machines. Selenium Grid is used for executing the test cases on remote machines. No dependency on GUI-based systems. Since Selenium tests can be executed without a GUI, the tests can be carried out on web servers and automation can be achieved by scheduling its execution by integrating it with other tools. No GUI also means the performance of your machines will drastically improve. Flexibility while designing test cases. For designing test cases in Selenium, you have the flexibility to design it either via programming logic or by record and playback approach. Increasing demand for Selenium testers. Selenium testers have a lot of takers in the market. Since Selenium's usage is growing consistently, even the demand for Selenium testers is growing proportionally. Let's consider Selenium role in software development and testing process. Each testing team requires some time for regression testing. No matter whether it is at the end of the sprint or the regression testing should be conducted directly before the release. The most important in the large quantities of time can be spent on the process if some of its part is not automated. So how Selenium WebDriver can help us to save our time? With its help, most of user flows can be covered and the tests created using Selenium could be run in a couple of minutes. So let's imagine that you have a project with 1000 test cases and 90% of them or 900 of them are covered by automated tests in Selenium. The total regression time can take one day if some automated tests will fail, and we will spend our time for the failures analysis. Nevertheless, only 10% of tests, usually design checks or something like this, will be passed manually. If we consider a situation when all the checks should be conducted manually in the same instance, the entire regression could take one week or even more. That is the worst scenario that could happen since time is transformed into money, so the faster testing happens, the more company's money is saved. So the major role of Selenium is that it allows significantly accelerate the testing process on your project. In its turn, it saves a lot of money, making your employers happier. Some of you may ask me a question. Why should I select this course instead of learning Selenium by myself? So what is extremely cool about this course? That you won't learn just theory. You will have practical, technical tasks to implement real test applications. You don't need to search other questions in Google because you cannot understand lesson or homework. Everything is here, in one place, in this training course. This guarantee to you that with this training course you will save a lot of time. 
because if you would start learning Selenium by yourself and would notice that in the internet there are a lot of directions to learn Selenium, a lot of different specific topics to learn, which are not applicable on most projects. And all of this in one single training course, from the very beginning. What I suggest to you is a training course where step by step, with detailed homework program, with practical task, with detailed review of solution of each practical task, we will learn Selenium together. This program will give you enough knowledge to get your first job and to be able to implement a test automation application in Selenium. Let's talk about opportunities which will be available to you right after this training course completion. You will be able to get a position of QA Automation Engineer. For those who are not aware, QA Automation Engineer automates behavior scenarios of the system to ensure quality of the product and guarantee that product meets the requirements. For example, such a regular for us today purchase flow in online shop might be easily automated. Selenium allows you to write the code which will open the browser, will open product page, will press on the buy button, put product into your cart, after that press checkout button, will check the mandatory fields are filled out, if not then check that website asks the user to provide all necessary data, etc. And this is all Selenium performs all the sections to have automated tests to be built in in your continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline. And if you are a talented person, with knowledge from this course, you will be able to run your own business. So running your own business in IT consultancy is also one of opportunities for you right after this course completion. In fact, this is all information required to know in a nutshell about Selenium. The first lecture will not have any practical homework. We will create our first simple application in one of our next lessons. That is everything what I got for you for today. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next lesson.